Hey there people of the internet, my name is Savannah and welcome to my studio. Today's video is another Michigan Pokemon drawing and it's Piggies! Technically the species I'm basing the design on, the Picari, aren't in Michigan but they are found in Texas, so whatever, it works. Um, now let's just get into the drawing. As I said, these little pigs are based on the Picari, which are not even actually pigs, I found out but they're also based on feral hogs called Razorbacks, and you'll see more of that influence in the final evolution. So you may be wondering, as I was, if they're not pigs, then what are they? Well, apparently they're called Javelina, which have a lot of similarities to hogs, but they're ultimately different species. Some of the main visual differences are the shape of their ears and tails, since it's hard to see the Picari's tail most of the time, and their tusks. Boar tusks, their canines, point upward and usually out of their mouths, while Picari's upper canines point downwards. Also, Picari's are native to America, uh, dating back all the way to the Miocene era, about 5 million years ago, whereas feral hogs are an invasive species brought over by settlers during the 16th century, and have kind of been causing problems ever since, hence the invasive species clause. So anyway, this is Picari. The little Picari piglet who is small and cute because baby Picaris are so tiny. I love them. I literally just changed the spelling of Picari so it's a mix of its Portuguese spelling since Pokemon do that sometimes. And, you know, looking at you, seal. You're just a seal. Named Seal. Next is Porcoan, a mix of Pork and Chacoan Picari. I think I'm saying that right. Um, which are found in South America. I don't have a whole lot to say about this guy other than I wanted him to have this like big ball of muddy matted fur that will eventually harden and turn into its razor spines as it evolves. Lastly is Razor, a razorback boar with literal razor spikes on his back looking like a porcupine. And fun fact, porcupine literally means spined pig or something like that. <laughs> I say literally means this but don't actually know. Anyway, I knew I wanted it to be steel type because you know, razor, back, it, it's just a pretty obvious mixture. And Picari and Porcoan are just ground types, being little piggies all covered in mud and stuff. I really like these guys, they were a lot of fun to design. And speaking of fun, here's a fun fact. A group of Picaris is called a squad or a squadron, and I just, I love that, it's, it's so funny. <laughs> um, I really wanted to inc incorporate squad into their name somehow. Uh, Razor was actually called Squad Hog at first, um, but it didn't evoke the steel typing, so I ended up changing it. And I think Razor just sounds better. Like, it kind of just sounds like Razor, but you, you say it with the Razor. It's cool. <laughs> for the colors, I didn't do anything too crazy. The brown little mud pigs, and then Razor gets silver for his back and hooves. I made it shiny a copper color, though, because copper mining was really big in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I thought it was the state mineral, but freaking Utah stole it, so whatever. I also wanted the base fur of Razor to be a kind of green tinted instead of straight gray, so to not clash with its silver spines. So I'm just gonna go off script here because I don't know what else to talk about, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk about pigs and how apparently they've become kind of a problem in Mar in America <laughs> since they were brought over from Russia and Eurasia. They have become very overpopulated because they just keep having babies, or some hogs can have litters of up to like 16 piglets, and that's a lot, and some of them can get really big. They ruin farmland, and a lot of people just seem to not know what to do about them. I'm not an expert, I should say, um, but I do find it very interesting that feral hogs have become such a menace. And I guess that's another way in which they differ from Picaris, because Picaris, we don't have a problem with them. They just, they eat dirt <laughs> and, and little shrubbery, some fruits and stuff, um, whereas feral hogs will eat literally anything, um, and mostly farmers' crops, which is why farmers hate them. <laughs> so it, and it's become kind of like a debate I guess on what to do about them because some people you know want to leave them alone and then some people just like want to figure out how to get them like under control because they are overpopulated <laughs> and I am deciding that my Pokemon will not have that problem and lean more toward the Picaris uh, rather than the boars in that regard um but yeah here they are thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed my little pigs that aren't actually pigs 
Um, if you would like to support me further, consider subscribing to my Patreon. For as low as just $1 a month, you give me and my channel general support so that I can keep doing fun stuff like this. There is a link to my Patreon in the description. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. And as always, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.